Ah, it's another Monday here at Atlanta Brickco. How's it going, guys? <laughs> How you doing? Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great morning. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Atlanta Brickco haul video. We've got a bunch of stuff, and uh, happy Fourth of July to those in the United States that celebrate the holiday. We are having a nice holiday today. It's going to be quiet. We're going to close at 6, so there's a few things that are a little different today, but we're still here having fun with LEGO. And speaking of having fun with LEGO, we've got a bunch of amazing sets here. Um, this is just one table here. We've got a bunch over there as well. I'm seeing some really um, awesome collectible sets, so let's dive in. Over in the back right corner, we've got that cool Ninja Tower set. Looks like it's really good shape, really complete. And um, that is um, going to be featured, <laughs> I think uh, we have that set featured in our upcoming Between the Studs video. Me and Daniel discussed Lego classic ninja sets. They're not Ninjago, they're ninja and they have a lot of cool unique pieces. But uh, below here to the bottom right we have the awesome Mersk ship. The MC Kinney Moller, I believe that's how it's pronounced. But yeah, very cool little tiny micro cargo containers. Um, so very cool if you're in the mood for some very unique Mersk stuff. And then uh, speaking of boats, we've got this awesome Destiny's Bounty from the Lego Ninjago movie. So very, very cool. Doesn't have any of the figures, but uh, most people are looking for the ship, I think. The figures are neat too, but that boat is very special. Got a couple of city vehicles down here, a couple of helicopters and planes. And here we've got a pretty used condition um, uh, Ewok village. So it's a very awesome set. But man, I think somebody was uh, trimming the trees a little too much here. We've got a little uh, damage. So we're going to have to fix this up. It does have the figures, most of them. I mean, that one's a little beat up, I think. But uh, it does have the figures so we can fix this up and get it out for sale. That one's pretty cool. Down here, we've got a few Lord of the Rings Hobbit sets here. Some of the figures as well. So that will be fixed up and ready to be put out for sale as well. You've also got this little Lego uh, store building. So the, the fun fact about this is you've got that green uh, Futron Spaceman right there, the newer version of him. So that's a pretty cool figure. And I think he's pretty collectible. So that set is worth it for the figure alone. We've got this cool... Um, Dragon Knights or um, Dragon Masters set here. Uh, you've got, got a Playmobil torch on there. That doesn't belong. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty awesome set. Be ready to fix up and put out for sale as well. You've got uh, an older Pirates Imperial hideout or, yeah, Imperial Guards or Imperial Soldiers. And uh, that's going to be fixed up, tidied up, dusted off, put out for sale. The sails are in pretty good shape. That's the most important thing, as are a lot of the printed pieces. So that'll be good to go. We've got an Adidas shoe back there too. And in all these boxes, we appear to have a uh, Lamborghini Cyan. So that is very cool. I have very bad memories of this set from Lego Masters, but you guys probably don't. So hopefully someone enjoys that set. We've also got this very cool Sop with Camel. I think this is the earliest version of this scale and size of set. It's because they made a newer one that's a little more dark green. It's pretty cool. The stickers are in very good shape. That's important. Are they stickers or are they printed? Yeah, they're stickers. Okay. Down here, we've got the uh, old fishing shack. This is the second one that we've got now. So we've got two. This one's a little bit disheveled. We'll have to fix it up. Um, that's kind of the story for a lot of these sets. But nonetheless, very cool sets. And I think all this stuff was from before. So we'll head over to the other table now. All right, so this stack of sets over here on the end of the table, we're pretty sure was not here Friday, so we're going to talk about these. We've got a really cool old school Battle Droid carrier set. Looks like it's sealed because that uh, hole punch is not punched. So that's pretty awesome. That'll be out for sale very soon. I don't know what the price will be, but I'm sure it's not super cheap because it's old. We've got this uh, Avengers Tower set. Pretty fun. I remember when these came out, everyone wanted to get them. We still got a few left, I think, so they're a little easier to find now. Got Han Solo. Nobody cares about the Star Wars build with figures or Han Solo. So, ooh, 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 drop that one too. I didn't mean to throw that, I promise. Let's see. We got uh, Woman of NASA. We've got a City Volcano Crawler. These uh, city sets are pretty cool, pretty underrated. 
they uh, have the cool heat proof outfits and the cool gemstones and like the volcano series quite a bit got a ninjago set here the Chondri copter attack it has a chen right there that's pretty cool and so we'll have to price these and put them out i think this is also sealed so it's very cool to see sets from earlier in the ninjago universe 2015 that was already many years ago put that one over there we got some Star Wars and a little bit more of these uh, Lego City Volcano Explorers. And the uh, Quad Jumper. One of the most useless Star Wars sets ever. All right, now we can head over to the other table. So back here, we've got quite a few awesome built sets. Not a lot of boxed sets this uh, weekend, but quite a few awesome built ones. I mean, we do have this one, though. It's pretty cool. The classic Batman hood cowl. Actually, it looks quite a bit like it when you see that, the real example of it there. Um, you've got quite a few old Star Wars sets. Some of them old, some of them, like, this is a newer one. But, like, you've got this old Skyhopper, I believe. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, X-Wing, you got Yoda's Hut. Really cool old pieces in there. Old brown, very nice. You've got the oldest version of the Republic gunship. Looking a little beat up, probably needs some fixing up, some TLC. Stickers are a little bit beat up, but we'll uh, we'll try to get this so it looks presentable for people. We've got a quite good condition Django Fett Slave 1 over here with the awesome color scheme. So that's going to go out for sale soon. You've got a soccer stadium back here. Stickers are a little beat up. you got this... Uh, Motorized ATAT. -AT. I think this one might have been from last week, or it's another one, and we've got two of them now. Either way, pretty cool set. You've got some speed champions down here. You got a drag racer and this. Is this the um, Knoys egg? Anyway, pretty cool. And then you got uh, the old Obi Wan Jedi. Is it this, the Jedi Starfighter? I think it's Jedi Starfighter. Jedi Starfighter or Jedi Interceptor? Some of you guys are going to have to correct me. It's Monday. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if I got the Star Wars ship names correct. We've got uh, some Nexo garbage back here. We're not going to talk about that. And we're going to go over. we got some city space right here. we got a couple city vehicles down there. A larger Coast Guard helicopter. It's pretty cool. Let's get that blade back on there. There we go. A little bit of Nexo Knights, a little bit of looks like Ninjago here. Is that Ninjago? Yeah, I think so. And then um, we got the awesome Sea Cow over here. It's in pretty good shape. It's a little dusty. Needs a little cleaning. It's got metal beard. Doesn't don't see any of the other figures in it yet though. So we'll probably have to kind of fix it up, clean it up, get it out for sale. That'll be a day or two. Got a boxed Jurassic World set. We've got a bunch of these out already, so nothing. Super surprising there. We've got some Friends, the Friends houseboat. Pretty cool. I like the colors. I like all those arches, especially the in inverted arches. You can get those rounded shapes. You got a um, Boba Fett's throne room. It's a pretty cool, or Bib Fortuna's throne room. I don't remember which the title of the set was. You've got the both, uh, mo well, not motorized, motion activated Harry Potter birds. You've got the Phoenix and uh, Hedwig. It's pretty cool. Over here, we've got this awesome, uh, is this the Temple of Air Jitsu or Spin Jitsu? Where's Joe? Anyway, it's an awesome Ninjago set. I'm forgetting the name, of course, as most of these sets. But uh, And so this one, I think Grant and Joe will be fighting over, probably arm wrestling match to see who can actually purchase this, because it's a really rare, cool set. I don't think it has any of the figures, but nonetheless... Very special, very cool. Another AT-AT over there. I think that's one of the slightly older versions. And you've got, oh, this uh, collectible Star Wars ship. Joe told me the name earlier, but I've never heard of it before, so I don't remember the name. You've got uh, the Ferrari. You've got the kind of beat up Hulkbuster. You've got the Joker's low rider. Got the creator car. Apparently this windshield is very collectible, according to uh, Fazoom, one of our viewers. And I've looked it up. It is. It's like a like a $50, $60 windscreen. No problem. Pretty wild. And then um, you got the Harry Potter books all lined up here. So if you're looking to collect those, we got some disheveled ones. We'll have to fix them up. 
You've got a little bit more Lego City. You got some rockets over there. And uh, got a few more next nights tucked away back there. Some Chima. A little bit of Ninjago. A little bit of Bionicle. And you've got the Black Seas Barracuda. The sails are a little bit yellowed, a little bit faded. But it uh, looks like it has the figures, especially the rare ones. So, and all the flags and everything. So it looks complete, just needs some cleanup. We have uh, several employees here who are pretty familiar with cleaning Lego sales and getting them all prepared. So we should, that should be looking really good in a couple of weeks. But uh, that's what we've got for the back table. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We sure appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons on your way out. We'll have a bunch of other videos coming out this week, including some really special ones like the fig battles, some other videos. So keep, keep an eye out for those. We'll see you. Happy 4th, guys.